In a world where reliance on digital technology is continually growing, innumerable aspects of our cultural development have been fundamentally changed. In a sense, computers offer a portal to the world around us, a window into a labyrinth of cultural connections. These connections are facilitated by mass participation in all things digital, a great web that defies physical constraints spreading across the globe and tying us together. By use of technology, we see the emergence of unprecedented communication among those who have access to it. For despite the commonly held notion that technology is essential to lead a functioning life, more than half of the world's population is living in the dark, lacking access to the technology we depend on every day. Utilization of technology has become an integral part of our lives, and in developed countries, the demand for technologies is always on the rise. Companies like Apple release new products almost relentlessly, and yet consumers never seem to tire of acquiring new capabilities. In 2009, the average age a child received their first cell phone was 8 years old, and today it is not uncommon to see small children with iPads or even laptops. As we progress into the future, the widespread use of technology is becoming more ingrained in our lives, seeing particular influence on stages of early development during primary education. The prevalence of digital resources in the classroom illustrates one of the most significant social shifts caused by increasing reliance on technology, allowing children to excel in ways not possible without access. According to the U.S. Department of Education, the use of technology as a tool in classroom settings has distinct positive effects on the way students learn. When using technology in academic activities or for support when communicating with peers, students assume an active role rather than the traditional passive one. By with peers, by students' active role, traditional one. With peers, 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 students' The overall diffusion of technological resources has been quite rapid, with total internet usage worldwide increasing almost fivefold since 2000. However, within many individual countries, the variances in access are enormous, causing drastic inequalities and in opportunity. As a result, the digital divide remains a pressing world issue, with millions of people around the world lacking access to resources considered fundamental in developed countries. According to a study released in March of 2011, the average percentage of global internet penetration is only 30%. This means that of the world's entire population, less than a third of people have internet access. The United States boasts the highest average usage, with 78.3% of the population having access. Australia is second, with 60.1% of the population, closely followed by Europe at 58.3%. In Latin America, however, only 37% can access technological tools, leaving over half of the population with diminished opportunities. In the Middle East, internet penetration is at 30.2%, falling about even with the world's average. In Asia, only 23.8% have access, more than three times less than our own level of access. Finally, internet penetration in Africa is only 11.4% of the whole population, leaving almost 90% of the people living there without access to resources that we could not live without. As the use of technology in education becomes increasingly common, more and more of those who share our world are falling behind. In the U.S., we enjoy a plethora of resources right at our fingertips. Most are merely a click away, while all across the world, 70% of the people are unable to realize the possibilities for growth that technology has to offer. The digital divide, debated by many in terms of significance, is perhaps one of the most pressing issues troubling nations today, yet another manifestation of economic strife.